Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask people to come forward? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, um, from one to the other at the moment, my God. Um, can I introduce you to our, well, I don't know how many events we've had on the stand today, but this is our second formal presentation uh, of the day. Um, and it's my particular pleasure to, to talk about the St. Michael's uh, partnership, joint partnership. That's something which some of you may know we've been working on as a, as a council for, for quite a long time, really, it has to be said. Um, um, our principal partner, of course, was uh, Gary, who's now covering himself in glory in Spain. Uh, and from there, he's going to do England. I'm sure he'll cover himself in more glory doing that. Um, but one of the great um, uh, advantages, I think, of the partnership we've created um, is the way in which um, a particularly tired part of the city centre has now the potential to be linked in uh, to support uh, a whole range of activities, but more crucially, to create real connections between Spinningfield and the Deansgate area and what we describe as the wider civic uh, quarter. And it's my particular pleasure uh, to introduce KK Ho on behalf of the partnership who will start this presentation. Thank you. Good afternoon, Sir Howard. And ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor for me to be here at MIPIM this year uh, as part of St. Michael's uh, joint venture and the partnership team, which comprises of um, Rousley, Beijing Construction Engineering Group, Jackson's Row Development, and Zerum, all under the banner of uh, Manchester and under the very able leaderships of um, Sir Howard Bernstein and Sir Richard Lees. Thank you very much for having me with the team. Many of you may not have heard about um, Rousley, but I am sure uh, some of you would have heard about uh, one of our principal shareholders. Uh, he's um, Mr. Peter Lim, who is better known for his interest in sports and the uh, business of sports. Uh, now, amongst many investments in Europe and in the Far East, Peter is the owner of um, Valencia Football Club, and he also owns the image rights of um, Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, Rousley is fundamentally a real estate company that is listed in the Singapore Stock Exchange. Until recently, that is when we um, bought into Manchester, our real estate business has been focused primarily in Asia. One major project, for example, is a healthcare city in Iskandar, Malaysia, where we are developing a medical city that includes hospitals, long-term care facilities, medical education facilities, hotel, wellness, resorts, shopping mall, and other supporting amenities. Now, our subsidiary RSP Architects and Engineers is one of the leading um, architectural, uh, engineering, and urban planning practices in Asia. Some 60 years old, we have offices in countries such as um, China, India, Vietnam, and the UAE. Now, Rousley's growing presence in Manchester was established in a very short spate of time, largely because of our great relationships with two of Manchester's favorite footballing sons, Gary Neville and Ryan Giggs. And of course, also because of the strong support we have been receiving from the City Council, who has been working tirelessly to welcome investors and put uh, Manchester on the map as a compelling foreign investment, investment destination in recent years. Within a year, Rousley finds ourselves involved in a multitude of real estate assets that will in one way or another provide us with a long-term presence in this beautiful and thriving city. Now, one of our first investments is the highly acclaimed Hotel Football, a 134-room property which overlooks the Old Trafford Stadium. The hotel has a unique football team and includes um, F&B outlets such as Cafe Football and the Old Trafford Sports Club. The hotel opened to rave reviews exactly one year ago. And with this success, and together with um, Gary and Ryan, we intend to take um, this hotel brand regional to other parts of Europe and also to Asia, where the following of um, English and European football can be so intense that no one here without visiting Asia could ever imagine. Now, Rousley also acquired stakes into a charming and historic Northern Stock Exchange building in the heart of the Manchester Prime Commercial Centre. 
Now, we are in the midst of converting this into a 35-room boutique hotel with a strong F&B offering. And the place should be opened in about the um, uh, early part of next year. Now, Rousley has entered the Manchester market at an opportune time as the city is enjoying tremendous economic growth and it's experiencing an increasing number of tourist arrivals each year. And with the continuing support of Sir Howard and the City Council, it is all very likely that Rousley will continue to invest in a big way in Manchester. And we look forward to contributing much more to making Manchester an exciting place to live and to visit. Thank you very much. Thank you, KK. It's um, great to be here to talk about the sort of uh, outline proposals for this project, so a master plan. <clears throat> it's a great site. It's right in the heart of Manchester. Um, so it's that red area there. You can see Albert Square to the, to the right of it. Uh, you can see the, um, the library, uh, over to Teamsgate on the other side. It's a, you know, it's a fantastic location right in the, in the heart of the city. And it takes up almost a city block, includes the old police station, uh, on South Mill Street. Um, you see Jackson's Row on the top of the site and Bootle Street below, uh, and a synagogue, which is located in the middle of the photograph there, uh, actually on the site. So you can see the relationship to Albert Square is a very direct link, which, um, you know, it's sort of been forgotten. I mean, it's there, everybody knows it's there, but actually, as a part of Manchester, it seems to have been sort of bypassed uh, with spinning fields, the Northern Hotel, the library operating around it, and it's, it's sort of locked in the, sort of landlocked in a way. Um, behind the scenes. And you can see it here again in, in location, synagogue on the top left-hand side of the dotted lines, the old police station on the right. And uh, the most interesting thing is, is this map here, which shows all developments, areas around, but right in the centre, in a way, it is the missing link. It hasn't actually been um, developed, hasn't actually been regenerated over the last uh, uh, decades of uh, ge regeneration in the whole of the rest of Manchester. And so it's in a way that the piece actually would link all, all, this, uh, all these developments together, which I think is really exciting. So you've got the central business district, spinning fields on the, uh, on the western side, um, the Jackson's Road site, sort of tucked away with the civic quarter, and Peter Street going right through the corridor to university. Um, so it's you know, incredibly well, well linked, and I think as a regeneration site, absolutely critical for the success of Manchester. And what we're trying to do is look at the opportunity of linkages. So linking it back to Albert Square, linking it through um, from South, South Mill Street onto towards the library on the, on the eastern side and through to Spinning Fields on the, on the western side and down to Conference Quarter to the south. So this idea of trying to link the whole of this site back to uh, the existing linkages. So our big idea is to make a new public space that comes off Albert Square. So from that diagonal view of Albert Square, you can see directly to that corner of the site. And on that position, we're going to create a new public square, a new public space, 24 hours a day um, space, which would actually be for the people of Manchester. I think that's a, a really fantastic thing to have for Manchester, something that's a, a new space um, in, this part of, in this part of Manchester, with these very strong linkages back to Albert Square. And then also, it's a link from that to another public space on an upper level on the, on the southwest corner. And we're leaving two, two plots for development um, on, the, uh, on the northwest, on the southeast. And then these two, these two um, plots bring people deep into the site. So it's really opened the whole site up to, to the public to actually use. And then the synagogue is, is located underneath that second space. So we give a, a brand new synagogue, clear span, uh, located underneath that second square um, in, a, in a brand new facility for, um, for the users of that. Um, but, and on top of that, having, having a, a garden space, a new public space. So these two spaces relate to each other, the stairs between the two, and I think create a really dynamic new uh, series of spaces. And the sort of outline drawing that starts to sort of pull it all together, uh, the idea of the public space on the top right here at the lower level going upstairs, the one on the upper level here with the garden, um, with a hotel, with um, offices and residential, so a real mixed-use project here, um, and with shopping and restaurants spilling out onto these spaces. 
And I think that's the most incredible thing to actually, these spaces will be very, uh, very active edges around uh, all, all sides to actually allow uh, people to spill out from the buildings and actually enjoy the spaces. So you imagine this, this space on a higher level here on, on the bottom left, uh, in the sun um, with the hotel spilling out onto it and a sort of new garden space for Manchester. So that's our, our master plan for the site. Um, and we're going to make a planning application this year. Um, so watch this space. Thank you very much.